afternoon, or should I say nightfall, it's, oh lord, it's sliding down, I'm going to have to do like my mama said, take safety pins, and safety pin this baby to the couch, but then, I couldn't fill it with my pillow over, I'm getting off top, okay, I can't remember the morning post, I can't remember what time it was, I think it was around 10, 30, 11, um, laid down, slithered on my couch, <laughs> which I don't do, I usually, here or in my bedroom recently, I've, I've been laying down, not parallel, but sideways, <laughs> in it, go figure, I'm not, I'm not even going to explain that, but, um, whew, slept from, like, I think it was 11, 11 to 240 something when my alarm went off to tell me deep deep wake up take your second prep let me explain something I, and i just got off facetiming um miss jen from this is the day and prayers to her because i know she's not still feeling good and i'm hoping she makes a quick recovery i really do because she's not feeling good and she was doing good so she was doing so good and feeling so good and feeling back to Jen. At the moment, I'm freezing, but my movie prep box, it came with three movie preps. I didn't like the first movie. I didn't like the second movie. And I'm probably not going to do the third movie without my choice. So, that's a joke, people, even though it's called movie prep. But I did want, they gave me three. What? Let me explain something. And I don't think I it really came out and explained this. Because everything's just been hitting me. Um, one after another, after another, after another. And I'm trying to stay, I'm feeling very, very hyper. And I'm trying to stay calm. So this don't hit me. Because I notice when I get hyper or energetic or feeling good, I do stupid or this really starts going again i mean earlier yes i felt like earlier like three hours ago um i felt like what do you call them dump trucks were playing around in my a whole fleet of dump trucks were running around up in my head with pressure right here and coming from the doctors gave me a pressure headache so um but Yes, Mike, I took my medicines. I've got to stop around 7 or 8 tonight, and I can't take any more until I get back tomorrow afternoon. But let me explain something. Originally, I was supposed to have just a one day endoscope and colonoscopy, and one day was supposed to be tomorrow, both of them. But with my severe liver issues of chances of cirrhosis of the liver or liver failure, because my enzymes are so severely high, they had separated them in the two days so that would be today and tomorrow when I got called yesterday and they knew I had Lyme and then they had on record showing I had a bacterial brain infection that I already knew they weren't going to put me because like my husband he's had it done it looks like thick paste in the IV and boom, you're out and they already had told me with my liver issue as well since they separated them they weren't going to put me fully under. They were going to put me in a mild sedation. So I could be, you know, in and out and because of my liver. And then yesterday when they called and they found out I was having a bacterial brain infection, meningitis slash encephalitis, don't know which one yet. Um, I just know it's inflamed and I'll have flare-ups. And I'm just waiting for the inflammation to go down. But, um... They decided, well, not on top of separating the two and having a mild sedative, that they were not going to knock me out at all. They were just going to keep me. That's why, when I, um, I think I posted this morning. I really don't remember. I felt like a very good Valium or morphine was given to me. Just something to la 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 land. But I never was knocked out. I was watching the whole procedure of it going down my mouth. So, <laughs> But, um, that was that. But, th tomorrow is my colonoscopy. And I am fully awake for this. I don't get like my husband and a lot of people get 
completely knocked out because of my liver issue, which is another issue we're having to deal with and find out what is going on, and then with the brain infection because we don't want me dying on the table being knocked out because I've never had any of this medication before. So, I had took a movie prep at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. My pet came with three. Took one yesterday afternoon at 3. Just finished one at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Whew. Thank God it's almost over. And I've seen the bathroom more times in one night in two hours than I have in a whole year. But I had, was going to have to take another one at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Bloody hell. That was a big shotgun shot. Some, probably these idiot neighbors. But um, my question was is I don't eat solids anyway. I don't eat solid, solids. The, solid, the most solid thing I get in my gut is a banana. And if that's solid, then excuse me. But um, they still today insisted I did today's 3 o'clock when in in the morning. But I... I was going to ask, and then I just got online with Jen on FaceTime. And I'm like, listen, I don't eat solids. I've not. I've been on a liquid diet since little before Thanksgiving, guys. So that's November, December, January, February. I'm going on five months with no solids. And I can count, again, on one hand, the solids I've ate. And it's either been, I can't eat broccoli. I don't care if it's even steamed. Can't do asparagus, so um, I can't eat salads. I, now, I can put down a baked potato. I can't do the skin, but I can do the baked potato. Um, I can do mashed potatoes. Um, I, now, I've learned I can't do any form of beans. The kale goes straight through me because my body is not absorbing anything. So, really, I'm not had a craving to eat. I'll occasionally take a sip here or nibble here. Like if my husband's home and he has grilled chicken, I'll take a very little itty-bitty shredded piece and takes me 30 minutes to nibble on a little bitty shredded piece because I'm scared of the reactions that it gives but outside that <coughs> I did yesterday's 20 minutes in I was done you're usually supposed to pass liquid clear or yellow 20 minutes in they give you two hours sometimes three to get it all out I don't eat solids people I was cleansed out in under 25 minutes yesterday Today, I was supposed to eat something yesterday, small, and I didn't. I'm scared to eat solids. Bear with me. Then today, when they when I got out, they told me I needed to eat something small because I'm dehydrating. Even though I'm drinking fluids, it's the lemon in my water that is dehydrating me. So I think I need to back off on drinking lemon water, <coughs> drink water, but not with the lemon or drink the lemon water and put some Gatorade or something which I'm really not a Gatorade I'm not any I'm not a sugary drinker now occasionally I will have my Dunkin Donuts <coughs> no sugar coffee you know the almond milk like once or twice a week but I haven't this week I've had no I've wasted them so I'm not buying them getting them anymore That'll, my husband will love that because he can invest in Dunkin' Donuts with my DD Perks card. But, um, <clears throat> and I stopped having kale because I noticed I wasn't absorbing it. And I was flushing it straight through my system. I apologize if this is going to be long. I'm trying to get everything out before my brain goes haywire again. Because I'm going in and out of waves of, my brain is crystal, well not crystal clear, it's pressure. And then I got the dump trucks, and that's somewhat tolerable. And then I've got the holy hell. You know, I, I wish for death moments. But then I did this afternoons, and they told me I needed to eat something through the day, or something. So I took one egg and I scrambled it up, and nothing, just a plain scrambled egg, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Now I pass I, when I did my three o'clock, and that was like at eleven thirty twelve. I did my second movie prep at three, at two forty-five, and it, no, started at two, ended at three. By three fifteen, I had already passed that egg out, and was back to solid yellow, and clearish, 
bowels. I'll put it to you like that. And I'm thinking, why am I having to take a third one at 3 a.m. in the morning when I don't eat solids? I ate a scrambled eggs because you told me I had to because I was... I apologize for the background. My idiot teenage neighbors back here are obviously shooting some practice target practicing. Oh dear God. And I am fixing to yell out this window at them. Because I can't, I can't take that. But lay down. Hold on guys. Alright. Sorry guys, the shooting made both my dogs come running. In. I'm going to be yelling, so excuse me. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to open my window and yell at my neighbors to stop shooting their double barrel shotgun. I've got both my dogs sitting here freaked out. And... That's what I'm talking about. Things like that will get this going back. And I don't want that back. I don't want that. Right, not right now. Where was I? I really don't know where I was, guys. Oh, so I took my second prep. Passed the egg. Hey, I even cheated and had a cup of coffee with non-dairy creamer, the powder form. Not my coconut kind. <laughs> it has took me this long because I've been in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of a bathroom since I started taking this stuff. But, um, I was thinking, why do I need to take a third one? So, I went on FaceTime, asked Jen, me and Jen chitterboxed and everything. Thank you. Anybody ever got any questions, go to Jen from This Is The Day. That girl has been battling this thing for, she's known about it for 18 years and been battling. No clue how long she's had it. Like I said, I was born with it, but it came out at 13, wasn't diagnosed till a little over five years ago, just now treating. So, um, but she agreed, don't bother taking the third one, since I don't eat solids, I shouldn't have to take a third one. I guess they figured I had a bowel obstruction or something, you know, const there was a constipation area issue and that would help well there's nothing and if there is that ain't moving it after two so thank you jen for your advice i am not taking volume three of that stuff because i'm telling you yesterday i drank the ammonia pee pee by itself today i drank the ammonia pee pee but i added <laughs> i had a the immune system powders you can get the vice Vices, the vitamin C powders, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C orange flavor powder, and I poured it in. Didn't help. It's just orange tasting pee pee. So down the hatch. Not doing the third batch at all. I get all my results tomorrow. Yay! But um, I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, th thank you, Jen. Really, thank you, because I did. Because I literally, not yesterday when I took it, it just flowed real easily. I didn't feel like, no issues. Today's, I felt like I swallowed, swallowed a beach ball. And it was, it, I mean, it, I was still having an easy, it coming in, going in and going out. It's just the beach ball feeling I did not like at all. That was uncomfortable. But, um... <coughs> At the moment, long as I keep my inflammation music, my Enya going, the moment I'm okay, as long as these idiots back here stop shooting that shotgun I just yelled at them for, because they know I'll call the cops. I will call the cops, because I can't, I, I just, I'm not going to tolerate, tolerate it at nighttime. They got a big old bonfire out there. It's nighttime, and you're shooting shotgun, a big old shotgun. I hear my phone. I just don't know where my phone is. Oh. Oh, sorry guys. Let me answer to my husband. He's checking up on me. I've lost. I don't have any call time. My call time comes in tomorrow. So we're having to te text each other. 
So he's just checking on me and see if he needs me to come home. Needs him to come home. No, I'm dealing with, you know, the movie I don't like right now. It's a, it's a really rated zero movie and I really don't want nobody here at the moment. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to do movie prep number three. Since I'm flushing nothing but clear liquid yellow liquid. I'm not, I'm not even going to waste my time. Um, I've lost track of what I was going to say. I will say this. Um, as far as the inflammation pulsating tone thing for the encephalitis and meningitis, I found I'm playing that a lot. And last night was my first night. I, I tried it. And I did feel a little bit better. Clear-headed. Also, I think my when my brain went in like right now it's horrible pain right here it's like like this just is being shoved literally through that's what it feels like but i've noticed the inflammation is causing me to sleep a lot and maybe i need to sleep because it's it heals better when you're sleeping and listening to the pulse scenes in the tones seems to be helping. I can't wait to get back on my regimen tomorrow of my greens and shakes and all that because the past two days I've not been able to do it. But I do think the sleep is better. I do feel that like right now and I'm, I'm sensing when I know it's going to get bad because now the back of my neck feels pain severe pain and it wasn't and I think it was just them back there it startled me and it stressed me out also know when I go to chitterbox and get in hyper get expresso feeling as Jen says which I know what she's talking about <clears throat> my brain will start shutting down and slowing down and that's when I start having um, speech drag words I don't know how to put that um, where it's hard to say the word or drag it out from here out um, so I, I'm, I got to learn the the triggers and that crap back there was a trigger my excitability was a trigger I need to also learn to start taking better care of myself but i'm going to make this as a part one and i'll pick up part two love you guys god bless